Cam Wyland. Dialogue is one of the most exciting and fun bits to write in any story, not only because it gives us the opportunity to hear our characters speak, but also because it's a prime breeding ground for conflict. The trick to good dialogue is that sometimes elusive balance between realism and economy, one of the biggest no-nos of writing dialogue, combines the essence of these two goals in a rule that should be obvious, but often isn't. Don't let your character be a windbag. No character, even one who has weighty, interesting, and important things to say, should be allowed to speechify at great length. A historical novel I read recently allowed its characters to rattle on uninterrupted, for not just paragraphs, but pages. To misquote Gilbert Blythe in the Anne of Avonlea movie, in real life, the character's listeners would have pitched it. In real life, people rarely allow other people to go on for a minute straight. In fiction, we have a little more leeway. But just because the opportunity is available doesn't mean we should abuse it. Lengthy, unbroken sections of dialogue usually signal two pitfalls. One is the complete lack of conflict, because if one character is hogging the limelight instead of sharing it, or at least squabbling over it with another character. And the second is the great likelihood of an info dump. If you find one of your characters is rattling on uninterrupted for any longer than a good-sized paragraph, Take matters into your own hands and start interrupting. Have other characters interject, ask questions, object to the first character's opinions, or add new information of their own. Not only will your dialogue sound more realistic, it will also be more likely to keep your readers engaged. Mm -hmm.